We look good. So do we. Hey, is your guy here? He's back! What? Yeah, that means you're not in told anymore! No! Hello from the land of TV. This is King Cool. And welcome to the Toast Reviews. For those of you who do not know how this works, I have just watched a movie and I've got a piece of toast. And to keep me from rambling, I'm going to start the toast and talk about the movie and I have to finish talking about it before it burns. And if it burns, something bad happens. It's sort of in flux right now. Um, it's a very organic show. Uh, I try to be. But uh, we were going to watch uh, Absolute Power because it's going to leave Netflix pretty soon. Netflix Instant, rather. Uh, but it's in 4 by 3 um, in fact, I think I made a video before I left about griping about 4x3, but I don't think I ever posted it, so maybe you'll see that, uh, today. Um, but then I also, uh, instead, I was like, okay, what is actually in the right, uh, ratio? And so I picked The Naked Gun, which, I don't know if I've actually sat and watched the entire thing. Similar thing with, um, with, uh, Avengers Big Score a few weeks ago. Um... And yeah, I uh, I was here last week. I got back from my vacation on Tuesday, but I was in no condition to make one. I actually had a little video I was going to have. I was like, yep, here, I'm back. And I wasn't really in a condition to, to edit that up either. I just wasn't in the mood. But nevertheless, today we are toasting Ego Thick and Fluffy Waffle, which these things are big and... Stop trying to say... I might try to paint something that says stop on it, because that would be funny. And here we go. Alright, the naked gun, it's almost like what can you say, where it's, it's similar to airplane, where, like, every, like, ounce of it is, is chucked full of, of little gags and things. Like, the little shots that you see in all these detective movies where you see the guy's feet walking as he walks, and all of a sudden he starts doing hopscotch. It's like, things like that. It's like, these movies are trying, and so many of these comedies nowadays... It's the only thing they try is trying to be gross, and I'm like, huh, you know, not that this movie isn't isn't gross. It's just a lot milder than a lot of the other ones. Where this movie's grossest thing is when he leaves his microphone on when he's going to the bathroom, and you just hear him urinating. Uh, and it's like, yeah, like this was how this was how gross things got in ordinary comedies in uh, 1980, whatever it was. Uh, in the opening, it has a bunch of uh, world leaders all uh, conspiring together, and it has Gorbachev, Yasser Arafat, Gaddafi, the Ayatollah, and it's like, well, I think everyone, without fail, is no longer uh, in the picture, as far as politics goes. It's like, yeah, some of these things are, uh, um, they develop pretty quickly. It is, uh, you know, obviously I recommend this. It's funny, it's, uh, and it's refreshing. Uh, even at times where it gets sort of slow, it's like, alright, you know, sometimes they just have to do a little plot thing. But sometimes there's a, a cutaway that, uh, when you watch it, you're like, well, this scene wasn't necessary. Like, when he goes to this hot dog plant, and a guy gets killed, and then you see this, uh, later on you see the bad guy pull a finger out of his hot dog. It's like, oh, that must have been what that was building up for. But on the other hand, I'm sort of like, well, that scene didn't really weigh a whole lot, so I didn't really almost remember. I'm like, oh, yeah, that guy. It took me a second, so it wasn't more, um, it wasn't... Uh, you know, I wasn't laughing, I just was like, oh, you know, that's weird. And, of course, uh, it is weird looking at this movie now, because it has O.J. Simpson as a... Jesus. I can't possibly be done. Hang on. No, you are squishy. I'm turning you up. <sighs> ah, machines. And they're supposed to take over someday. I don't buy it. But, yeah, one of the... Like, the fifth co-star from the top is, uh, O.J. Simpson, who, you know, now is famed murderer and robber and now jailbird, um, but he is in the movie sort of the same amount that Jason Lee was in Alvin and the Chipmunks 2, you get the feeling like, even though it's the first in the series, it was like he was coming back for the series, but he couldn't dedicate a lot of time, so they just put him away and made him injured, so he gets injured at the beginning, and it's, and it's, it's a hilarious little sequence where he gets shot, and he falls, and he burns his hand on a little hot stove, and he claps his hand in a window or a mousetrap or something, but then he leans against the door that has wet paint on it. He's like, oh, man. And it continues on like that. It's just... I, I, I wonder if this version has something cut out of it, because there's a gag I remember that I don't... It might have simply been from a different... Uh, it might have been from a di different uh, Naked Gun movie, but... Because I've seen the other two. Two and three are on Comedy Central, like, all the time. 
this one I don't think is. Um, and it makes me sad that, you know, like, Leslie Nielsen has left us, and... But even, like, a movie like uh, Space Travesty, I can't make myself to hate that completely because he's still in it doing his thing and having fun. And what it is is that Frank Drebin, the character, is trying his best despite his incompetence, as opposed to characters that I, I don't... I'm starting to dislike, like Peter Griffin and Change from Fat Guy Stuck in the Internet and, the, and these other characters who are all totally negative, who are trying to do bad things, basically deliberately, where he is like, uh, it's trying, uh-oh, I've now caused this to go wrong, let me try to stop this, and things continue to go wrong and build up, and that's way funnier than, uh, than just, oh, I'm, I'm an aggressive loud. Um, so yeah, I, I sort of wish some of these movies would take a page from these, I mean, you see like the disaster movie and other things like that, that I hate to say they know the notes, but not the music, because they don't even know the notes, but, you know, uh, it, it, I mean, a pale imitation of things like this. And if you haven't seen this all the way through, give it a shot. I couldn't quite give it five stars on uh, on Netflix, because I, I didn't... Uh, yeah, there we are. Are you getting toasty now? I shouldn't touch it with my hand. I guess we're pretty much all set. Like I was going to say, I couldn't quite give it five, because I didn't quite laugh. I didn't laugh my ass off, but... Alrighty. I guess that's all we got for today. Thank you for watching. If you have something you want me to watch, go ahead and tell me. I listen to everything. You know, it's just me. But at any rate, this is King Cool, and please drive home safe. Hey, uh, unrelated. Does anyone out there um, know how to like convert an MOV file to an FLV? Like, cause I'm starting to get uh, dissatisfied with the uh, YouTube uh, taking it in, in its compression and sort of taking a bat to it, and it's starting to look ugly. And I'm like, I really should be able to make something that looks better than this. And I think g converting it to FLV before I upload it might help, but I don't know. Or maybe I just gonna use a different codec or something. I don't know. Um, anyone out there know anything about this? Uh, go ahead and message me and, and help me out. That would be great. Anyway, he has to go now. Ah!